Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth out on vacay, but today is the final day. She returns on Monday. Yesterday, I spent two hours, not that it was like hard work, uh, but listening to some of this stuff was hard work. I spent two hours on a Zoom call uh, for my uh, my school, my elementary school, where I have two kids in, and it was the uh, the principal and the uh, vice principal, uh, and they were, uh, you know, talking about all the reopening plans and everything from, uh, you know, the the cleaning process and everything down to every little class and where uh, chorus is going to be singing and where kids are going to eat their lunch and how recess is going to look. And I'll tell you, um, I, hard, hard work. I would not want to switch positions with them. And, and I think, uh, you know, one of the things, they opened it up to a Q&A afterwards, and uh, some of the people were very kind. Some of the people were ready for a fight. Um, and, you know, it, it's it's interesting times as we are about two and a half weeks from a school opening. So I just want to say uh, to all the uh, teachers and the principals and the staff and everyone trying to uh, do their best under the New York State guidelines, uh, we applaud you for your hard work. Uh, I'm sure when you got into uh, education, you never thought you'd be dealing with anything like this. And uh, no system is going to be perfect for any parent. Uh, we all have our challenges. But uh, I, I just I felt like I had to say that uh, this morning uh, because I feel the pain of, of some parents who, uh, you know, both parents have to work and leave the house. And what are you going to do with your kid when they're when they're home virtually learning and they're not in school five days a week? Um, and if you're a single parent, for sure. Uh, that could be even harder if you uh, have to work and you have to leave the house. And uh, then, you know, you get a situation uh, where uh, people are afraid to go back to school because uh, of the virus and you don't know what's going to happen. And we could be open for a month and closed after that. Or uh, maybe, you know, things go away and we're open five days a week at some point. Who knows? But uh, interesting Zoom call, two hours uh, just listening uh, to the reopening plans. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, it's tough. It's definitely, t I feel the pain of everyone, even, even the, uh, people on the zoom call yesterday that were, you know, I don't want to say screaming, but they trying to start an argument with the principal. Uh, I would, uh, I would say, I kind of understand where you're coming from. Uh, and to those people who, uh, understand the hard work that these teachers and administrators are putting in, uh, I want to say uh, bravo uh, to all of you who are who are trying to do your best. It's it's tough times. There is no perfect answer. Um, so just there, from one parent to another, if you're listening, you're driving, whatever you're doing right now, and I'm sure you're going through the same thing. We all feel the same way, uh, and there is no perfect solution. So I just wanted to tell you, uh, your anxiety and your issues right now, I'm feeling the same way. Uh, everyone's in the same boat. So you have a friend. We can talk about it on the radio. Here's a couple of things to get you going in a more happy, uh, fun way. 88% of women say men who wear a face mask are sexier. I said this. I said this months ago because now you're only seeing their eyes, right? For the most part, people have nice eyes, whether they're bright blue, dark brown, right? Eyes are, are the gateway to the soul. And now you can only see people's eyes, and it makes people sexier. They're not, I'm telling you, better when you when you see less of a person, it's much better. Um, here's one for you. The average person has cooked the same meal 28 times during the pandemic. I will tell you, when it comes to pasta and mac and cheese, we have cooked the same meal uh, 72 times, maybe more. Uh, but yes, I, the chicken cutlets, uh, the, the steak— um, yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're getting close to the uh, to the 28 times uh, for sure. Coming up, we have a special song as always at 730 plus at 748 about maybe a minute before or so. Uh, I can't, it could be 747. But in that area, uh, I have two jobs uh, that uh, someone could apply for that literally you don't need any uh, uh, college um, diploma. You don't need to have any uh, prior experience. 
I got two jobs. You can make some money. I'll tell you what they are. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.